Hello, my lovely students. I am Ms. Wang, who is an English teacher from Lezan Private Basic School. Today, I am going to explain the grammatical point of Unit 5 in English well, which is past simple or irregular verbs. Uh, and, but before I explain past simple or irregular verbs, I just want to remind you that we study in Unit 4, we study past simple or regular verbs. What are regular verbs? Regular verbs are those verbs that we, we can just change them from past to from present to past only by adding ed. Like what? Like for example we have help. We have help here. Help is present but if I change if I want to change it into past I only add ed. Help it. The boy helped the old woman in the street. Or for example, here we have show. Show is present. If I want to change it into past, I have to only add any. It becomes what? It becomes past. Showed. I showed my notebook to her. It, past simple of regular verbs are like this. We only add e. But let's see that what are past simple of irregular verbs. Irregular verbs are those verbs that we can only add in if we want to change them into past. Here we have these verbs in this unit. First, I will read the, their present form, then I will tell you their past form. Here we have go. Go is present. What is the past form? It's went. Go, went. We, here we have we. What is the past form of we? One. Say, said. See, saw. Sit, sat. Come, came. We have the present form of these verbs and also we have their past forms here. Okay, and here we have statement form, question and short answer form. In statement, we have what? They went to the park. Here we have they, our subject. Then we have went. When is past is a past verb. Look when here we have when. But what's the present form of when? It is go. It is go. They went to the park. Okay, here we have another sentence. She came late today. She came late today. Came is past. Here we have came. What's the past form of came? It is come. She came late today. Okay, but if I want if I want to change these statements, these positive sentences into negative, how can I change it? It is very easy. By only some steps, we you can change a sentence from positive into negative. First, rule number one is what? You have to add no here. No. No before the subject. No from the beginning. Okay? Then we write the subject. For example, in this sentence, here our subject is they. No, they. Okay, and here look at the sentence. They went to the park. They went to the park. Our sentence is in past in past form. We have went here. That's why we should bring did not. Did not. Adding did not is number two. First, we add no. After writing the subject, we write down did not. No. First we add no, then we add did not. And after that, what's, what's step number three? We change our past verb to it is present form. What is the present form of went? It is go. We write down go here. Okay, they went to the park, it is positive, but what is, it is negative form? No, they did not go to the park. Okay, how about this sentence, the second sentence? She came late today. Okay, if I want to change it into negative. Number one, we add no, no, then after writing the subject, no, she. Here, because our, our sentence is in past form, here we have came, and came is past. What is, what is the present form of came? It is come, look. No, she didn't. First, we added no, then didn't. Then, step number three is writing down the, the, the verb's present form. What's the present form of came? It is come. 
Okay, she came late today, the positive sentence, but how about it is negative sentence? No, she did not come late today. Okay, let's go to the question and short answer. Here we have, because our sentence, for example, this sentence is in past form, they went to the power, that's why we have to write that one that's from the beginning, did, then we write down the sentence did they go to the park did first we write down did because our sentence is in past tense did they go and here we should write down the the present the present form of the verb we cannot write down went here because we said that when did, did says hi our past verb says bye and that's why we, we when we wrote it here, we should change go. We should we should not write down the past tense of our verb. Did they go to the park? And then we answer in yes and no. Yes, they did. No, they didn't. And let's go to the second sentence. Here she came late today. Okay, if I want to change this sentence into question, what shall I do? First, I should write down did from the beginning because our sentence is in past tense, did, she, and here because in its statement we have came, but when 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 you use it did here because it's question, you should you should write down it is present tense. And what's the present tense of came? It is come. Did she come late today? If we answer yes in yes and no, it's very easy because we are just going to exchange their places. Yes, she did, and no, she didn't. I hope you take benefit from this video. See you later.